Welcome to the virtual tutor series on core mathematics for senior high schools. In this lesson, we will cover operations on algebraic expressions, including addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you haven't watched our previous lesson on the introductory part of algebraic expression yet, please do as it will provide you with relevant information on the basic idea behind the use of algebra as well as how algebraic expressions can be formed or built. Now back to today's lesson. We begin with addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. And as usual, take your book and pen as you follow along. We can add or subtract the terms in a given algebraic expression by grouping the like terms and combining the like terms by way of adding or subtracting. Now let's consider the following examples. Simplify the following expressions. Number 1. 3x squared plus 6xy minus 3y squared plus 4x squared plus 8xy plus 2y squared. Number 2. 4p plus 6p squared minus 2p plus 2p squared. Number 3. 5xy cube plus 8x square y cube plus 2y cube x. Solution. Example 1 says we should simplify 3x squared plus 6xy minus 3y squared plus 4x squared plus 8xy plus 2y squared. Step 1 is to group like terms. So we have 3x squared and 4x squared to be like terms. 6xy and 8xy are also like terms. And finally, negative 3y square and 2y square are like terms. Step 2 is to combine the like terms by adding or subtracting them. So we have 3x squared plus 4x squared to be 7x squared. 6xy plus 8xy to be 14xy. And negative 3y squared plus 2y squared to be negative y squared. Example 2, we are given 4p plus 6p square minus 2p plus 2p square. By grouping like terms, we have 6p square plus 2p square plus 4p minus 2p. Adding or subtracting like terms, we have 6p squared plus 2p squared, 8p squared, and 4p minus 2p is 2p. Example 3, we are given 5xy cube plus 8 square y cube plus 
y cube x. We first group like terms. So we have 5x y cube and 2y cube x to be alike. And 8x square y cube as a lone term. Next is to add or subtract like terms. So we have 5x y cube plus 2y cube x to be 7x y cube. And the lone term 8x square y cube. Great. Let's now move on to multiplication and division of algebraic expressions. We can multiply or divide algebraic expressions by multiplying or dividing the numbers and applying the basic rules of indices to the letters. That is, we add the exponent of the same variable together for multiplication and subtract the exponent for division. For practical understanding, Let's consider the following examples. Simplify the following expressions. 1. 2ab square times 3a square b. 2. 35 x exponent 5 y divided by 7 x y square and 3 6 p cube times p square divided by 3 p exponent 4 Solution Example 1 says we should simplify 2ab square times 3a square b. Step 1 Let's multiply the numbers. So we have 2 times 3. Step 2. Let's add the indices or exponents of the letters. So we have a exponent 1 plus 2 times b exponent 2 plus 1. Note that a has an exponent of 1. So does b. Two times three is six. A exponent one plus two is a exponent three. And B exponent two plus one is B exponent three. Example two. We are given thirty five X exponent five Y divided by 7x y exponent 2. So the first step is to divide the numbers. That is 35 divided by 7. And the next step is to subtract the exponents of the letters since we have a division sign. So we have x exponent 5 minus 1 times y exponent 1 minus 2. 35 divided by 7 is 5. x exponent 5 minus 1 is x exponent 4. And y exponent 1 minus 2 is 
y exponent negative 1. For example 3, we are given 6p exponent 3 times p exponent 2 divided by 3p exponent 4. This is a combination of multiplication and division. We first have to multiply or divide the numbers before adding or subtracting the exponents of the letters. So we have 6 times 1 divided by 3. Note that the coefficient of p exponent 2 is 1. In other words, p square is the same as 1 p square. Adding or subtracting the exponents of the letters, we have p exponent 3 plus 2 minus 4. 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Again, p exponent 3 plus 2 minus 4 is p exponent 1, or simply p. Well done! We have come to the end of the lesson on operations on algebraic expressions. In our next lesson, we will cover expansion of algebraic expressions. If you find our educational videos helpful, join the Virtual Tutor Series family by subscribing to our YouTube channel. This way, you can receive notification on future videos. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video lessons.